In this video, I'm going to be discussing three top Super Tuscan wines produced by the Antonori family, the first of which is Tignanello. Tignanello was first produced in 1971 and is widely considered to be the first wine to use Cabernet Sauvignon as a significant percentage of a Sangiovese-based Tuscan blend. The wine was initially created by adding Cabernet Sauvignon to the Chianti Classico blend, but a few years later Antonori also removed all the white grapes from the blend. Eventually the blend stabilized and became largely what it's been for a number of years. 80% Sangiovese, 15% Cabernet Sauvignon, and 5% Cabernet Franc. The Tignanello Vineyard is located in Chianti Classico, so the fruit does not come from Bulgari like Ornelia and Sassicaia. Tignanello is typically less expensive than those wines as well. While it used to cost less than $100 when I started purchasing it, unfortunately prices have crept up for this wine as well and are now around $130 and sometimes more than that. So it definitely pays to shop around for this wine. After finding success with Tignanello, Antonori next produced a wine that was more like Sassicaia in that it was dominant in Cabernet Sauvignon. Antonori called this wine Solaya as the fruit for this wine came from the Salaya vineyard on the Tenuta Tignanello estate in Chianti Classico. This wine was also a commercial hit, and in 2000, the 1997 Salaya was the Wine Spectator Wine of the Year. Again, Salaya is quite different from Sassicaia in two ways. First, the fruit comes from Chianti Classico and not Bulgari, and in addition, the blend is a fair amount different as well. It's not uncommon for the blend of Salaya to be around 75% Cabernet Sauvignon, 25% Sangiovese, and around 5% Cabernet Franc. Unfortunately, prices for Salaya have also been going up dramatically, and this wine now sells for around $300 and up, even for new releases. I find this wine to be a little bit more rustic than Ornelia and Sassicaia, perhaps due to the inclusion of the Sangiovese fruit, and because the fruit comes from Chianti Classico, and not the coast. But Antonori also has a winery that's located in the Bulgari DOC, namely Guado Altasso. Guado Altasso has been produced since 1990 and is the wine produced by Antonori that's more in a style that's comparable to Sassicaia in Ornelia. Guado Altasso is a Bordeaux blend that consists of a high percentage of Cabernet Sauvignon, as well as some Merlot and Cabernet Franc, and sometimes a little bit of Petit Verdot. Fortunately, Guadal Tasso is a little bit less expensive than some of the other ones that I've been discussing in this video. The new release can be purchased for around $120, so while it's definitely been going up in price, it's still a lot less expensive than many of the other Super Tuscan wines.